The M25, or London Orbital Motorway, requires a continuous program of maintenance and upgrades. This 117-mile circular highway is used by up to 200,000 vehicles per day, and any works maintenance has to be carried out quickly and efficiently to ensure disruption is kept to a minimum. In this film you'll see how various contractors have worked in unison to develop a safe and impressively fast method of repairing cracks and other faults in sections of the motorway constructed with pavement quality concrete. Pavement quality concrete is a term we use for a part of the network. You'll have two types of road construction, either blacktop, which is bitumen, or, or concrete. Much of the network is concrete and we need a strategy to, to maintain it and, and renew it. The current strategy was developed in collaboration with six principal contractors and a host of specialist supply chain partners. From the outset, every partner was encouraged to share concepts and working practices to deliver a solution that offered maximum efficiencies and value. Connect Plus needs to maintain the network but also ensure network resilience so we only have a, a finite window during the night to, to replace concrete. 10 p.m. Three of four lanes of a section of the M25 are closed and repairs to sections of pavement quality concrete can begin. The key benefits of the travelling public where now we can carry out a bay replacement on a standard night shift closure where we can come on the road at 10 o'clock and be off the road by 5.30 in the morning. In this way we're, we're not impacting on the, on the main peak times of travel. The sections to be replaced are saw cut, ready to be lifted. We always saw cut at an angle on the base. As you, if you had seen, I'd mark the base one, two, three, so that they're numbered, so that I know which way the angles are for the initial lifting. These methods are being used in other places. So this particular system's been used on the M42, and it's being shared with a wider community. I was involved in the first phases of the, of the works on the junction eight to nine. Um, we changed some of the cutting methods, but the, the vacuum lifter, I think, is one of the best, best things I've seen in, in my career in the, in the uh, construction industry. Through successful collaboration, new innovations have improved the process significantly. The trials have been in conjunction with ourselves, Skanska, Jackson, and Balfabiti, all looking at different ways of improving and sharing knowledge of how we've done things. Uh, one of the key things is trying to control the, the plant interface which um, is ways of having people working in close proximity to a, an active excavator. Once the vacuum lift has done its bit and everything, we move that away, then bring forward the concrete guys or the prep guys. The introduction of innovative techniques and equipment, like these easy on-grade drills, allow for fast, accurate drilling, removing the occupational health and safety hazard of hand-arm vibration. We then come in and redown the bays to tie them back into the adjacent. Once that's all complete, clean the sub base. We, then we start pouring using a volumetric wagon, um, which means we can use just the exact amount of concrete we need, placing straight into the bay. We've tried to segregate the works now so that we've not always got too many men interfacing at one time. We move men away to make it a lot, a lot easier to control. Once we've brought it up to level, bit of pokering just to get the concrete to move around and then we finish off the bay with a twin vibrating beam and then put a temporary scratch finish on the top of it. A new rapid curing concrete mix is yet another innovation in this process. The process of old would have been to shut down the road for a weekend to do the works. Now with the, the rapid curing concrete we can carry out a bay and the full process from lifting the bay to placing the bay to erecting the encapsulation to carry out the heating can be completed in about an hour and ten minutes. It is much more efficient so what we can do now is we're, we're quite comfortable doing multiple bays in one night. Final tests confirm the concrete has successfully cured on schedule and this stretch of the M25 can now be fully reopened to the travelling public. I think the difference here is that everyone is asked to work together and everyone believes that by working together we get the best results. It's, it's good to come out every night. When I see that lift come out, 
that puts a smile on my face. It's, it's quite refreshing the way that we've all managed to come together as different normally competing contractors. I'm very proud to be part of this project. I think it's been a, a real pleasure to see everyone working together. The realisation of this method is a tribute to the companies and organisations involved. Not only will the process help keep the capital's motorway open, but it stands to benefit highways much further afield.